This is not serious. Lighten up. Okay. All right. Yeah. This, this is how we do our thing. It's not that serious over chilled, here. Yeah. Chilled, relaxed, more introductory interview than anything else. Because there's a lot of people out here that are going to be watching my channel, yeah. and they're going to be like, "Who's that guy? <laughs> Who is that guy?" <laughs> Tell me where you come from, where you started, how you got into it. Uh, I saw what you've done recently, I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well basically my name's David Morrigan, I'm a 110 hurdler. Um, I'm, based, I'm from Cardiff, but I'm based in Loughborough. Um, starting university in there in September. Um, coach Benke Blinkfist and yeah, just recently I just won European and the 23 champs. So. Congratulations, we saw that. What was that like as an experience and did you expect it going into the competition? Um, yeah, well, it was, it was an incredible experience for me. I mean, like, um, I've been to European Juniors um, two years ago and the, in the final didn't really go quite well. World Juniors last year, I obviously medal got bronze, but it was, it was like probably the worst race I've put together in like my whole career so far. And then Why was that? What happened? Um, I think it was just kind of me just letting my emotions get to me because obviously I just felt a lot of pressure just obviously because I was going in there ranked number two and it was really close between me and the French kid and no one really knew who was going to win and I think I just let the emotions and the kind of occasion get to me a bit and obviously when you when you hit hurdles and you start losing balance and stuff things just don't start to go well really and I, I was still quite lucky to get a bronze but I was obviously a bit disappointed not to maybe get the gold really which I was working towards really but I mean, like it was an incredible experience, and I've learned from it. And obviously, this year I've come come away and been able. To I was just gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Set you up nicely for this year. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, I think this this year I've been able to. My my championship preparation's definitely been a lot better. We did a lot of kind of work with the psychologists and stuff, and my preparation, and just the, getting the right foods, getting the right sleep, um, and it just seemed to come come together right when in in talent really. And I, I probably ran I, I, I would say I ran the best race of my season so far there. It was just a bit unfortunate with the win. It was like a minus 1.5 win. I reckon if the win was going the other way, I probably would have PB'd. But I mean, yeah, from from the beginning of the season, I didn't start very well to actually win. I, I'm pretty. Pretty, pretty happy. It's all evolving. It's all evolving in the right kind of way. I mean, when you set your, your targets and you know ambitions for the beginning of the season, did it include winning the under twenty threes? And what else do you expect from yourself this season? Yeah, well, at the beginning of the season, the under twenty threes was the main target to go there and medal. Um, I did know it was going to be difficult to to maybe get the gold with um, a really f the French kid from last year from World Juniors. He's been running really quick. Mm. They've but, got a few quick runners, haven't they? Yeah, they've yeah. got a conveyor belt of runners. Oh yeah, yeah. They're just producing hurdlers mm. at the moment. Um, but um, unfortunately for him, he, he got a hamstring injury the week before in the Paris Diamond League. I think in the warm-up, I was speaking to his coach, so obviously he wasn't able to keep, which kind of gave, lifted the opportunity for me. Really, I was um, ranked number one, and um, yeah, I was able to kind of come through, which I think was quite big for me. Just obviously being able to be rank one and then come out rank one. So um, yeah, I was really happy with that. Really, yeah. You said you moved from Cardiff to Loughborough to prepare. It's a big change for you, I'd imagine. And, and what are you going to be studying while you're there? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was a really big change for me because um, my coach basically quit coaching me in November. In November, he quit coaching altogether. So, kind Who's of. Who's coach? Uh, Mike Guest. Okay. Yeah. So, um, basically, from November to March, I kind of went all the way through there without a coach. I was having some help from Matt Elias, but I didn't really have a coach. So I was still able to make the European in, in, indoor. Um, indoor championships and stuff and actually run a PB indoors but it was just difficult but ben, um, my new coach in the moment Benke he got the job in Loughborough and then it just seemed like a great setup with Will Sharman and Di Green yeah. and obviously being Loughborough the high performance centre um, just the, the physio all the sports science kind of <coughs> side of it just seemed to fit in well and, was, and, if, and for my university course as well it looked well so what are you doing? Um, economics and accounting <laughs> 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 you're making it hard for yourself, ain't you? Yeah. Listen, obviously, anniversary games this weekend. What do you expect from yourself? And you're looking forward to Olympic Stadium, man. Massive oh, yeah. occasion. I li I can't wait. Literally, I've just been so so excited from the beginning of this week, really. Because mm -hmm. um, obviously, I went there two um, three years ago to watch, um, and I I never really would have thought I'd been able to compete because at the time I was injured and I wasn't really sure if I was going to really continue with legs. It was it was kind of everything was in question marks, really. So to have actually like. With me being able to race here on, on, on Friday, I can't wait. I mean, it's, it's a stacked start list, but I'm looking forward to it. Listen, your event is obviously a difficult one. It's all about rhythm. It's all about, you know, feeling uh, good between the hurdles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, I've spoken to hurdlers from Colin all the way downwards. How are you going to make inroads and in the type of times that are going to, you know, propel you to world class? Yeah. Um, well, what me and my coach have basically working on is just being um, not so much more powerful and 
obviously we want to be more powerful and fast, but we're working on just being efficient over the hurdles. And um, slowly over since March, we've slowly kind of seen that I've been getting faster each race and my technique's coming along, my trail legs coming faster and I'm running faster in between the hurdles. So I think um, if I just continue what we're doing, I think come next year, I think I'll be in, in running some really fast times. And, Sub 30. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure about Sub 13. 31. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I, f I feel... In, within within like a year and a bit, I think I'll be really motoring then. So we'll see how it goes, really. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah, no worries. Good luck. Good luck.